Right, that's you, mate. Right, that's you. Clear. Take the shot, mate. Take the shot. What was that? Oh, nice one, aye. Robbing the quaver toe, pal. Jeez, so bad. What was that, ref? Oh, yellow. Oh, what? It's a red. Right, oh, aye. No bother, pal. Mm, great, aye. Cool. Paisley, City of Culture, what a load of <laughs> shit. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <sighs> hey, come on, it's not all bad. St Mirren fans are amongst some of the most loyal in the whole world, supporting our team through the ups and the downs. Aye, all the downs. Oh, come on, we are a fun-loving, close-knit community, real gentleman-like, true sportsmanship. Hold on a wee second. Did you not get sacked a few years ago for the face of a Falkirk shirt? And besides the point, are you not English? <clears throat> What's your point? And that was a misunderstanding. Those charges got dropped. Come on, I want to show you something. Well, hold on a wee second. I'm not going anywhere with you. Buy a pizza. Throw a pint in, you've got yourself a deal. <clears throat> There's so many misconceptions about Paisley. Come on, I'm going to show you the past, present, and the future of this wonderful town. So, this is the Abbey. Uh huh. So, St. Mary himself is believed to have founded a small community. And in 1163, a priory was set up. Then when Paisley became more popular, this big abbey was elevated. But what's really interesting, you know Edward I? Well, he burnt it down. What an absolute... Uh, he burnt it down, and then it was rebuilt. This abbey? Mm. Well, no, that, that one kind of fell apart as well. They weren't so good at keeping their abbeys. Maybe it was the curse. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold on a wee second, what are you talking about? What curse? 17th century witches. Apparently one of them put a curse on Paisley. Anyway, where was I? Uh, Big Eddie the First. Yeah, so he burnt it down. Then, guess who was educated here when it was rebuilt? William Wallace. William Wallace? Mm -hmm. Wow. Museum. Yep. Oh, come on, you must feel more cultured now. I just showed you the famous Paisley Patton shawl. I'm sure I saw a shot like that in Topman. Well, they're not from Topman. They actually came from Asia, but uh, they got the name from Paisley because more shawls were produced here than anywhere else in the whole world. Belter. Yeah. Well, Paisley has lots of uh, belter things, art, ceramics. Probably should have been a bit more careful with that vase. Anyway, come on, I've got more to show you. Why are we here? <clears throat> UWS has students from all over the world studying a range of disciplines. In fact, there's over 16,000 students from over 70 different countries. Now that's what I... Uh... Do I really have to say this? Yep, say it again. Now that's what I call international. That was just so...
So, loads of live music around here. This place, big supporters of St Mirren Football Club. And there's loads of famous musicians from around here too. There's David Snedden, um, Jerry Rafferty. Oh, come on. Paolo Natini, you know him, right? I know Paolo. Uh -huh. I'm quite the Paolo myself. Yeah. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, I want to be in that number. Enough. Drink up. We need to go. Game's about to come back on. Come on! Well, that was quite the adventure. I'm actually really glad I got to show you around. And um, don't worry about your team. Rain, hail or shine, St Mirren fans will be there to support. Chucking a pint a pint. Happiest people in Paisley. <laughs> you know, I've actually got 50 quid in this game, so if you don't mind, I'm going to catch a second half. Well, I don't know second. You said uh, pint. Where's my free pizza? <laughs>